In 2018, there were over 1,300 overdeaths in Washington state, and the substance use disorder epidemic impacts not only those people experiencing it, but also their families and their loved ones as well. And as a state, we can do more to support whole person care and recovery, which is why I'm supporting the Pathways to Recovery Act. It's a new approach to promoting recovery and public health by focusing the state's response on a new, fully funded continuum of care. It starts by recognizing that substance use disorder is a health condition and recovery is always possible. As a result, the Pathways to Recovery Act diverts our response from the criminalization of personal possession amounts of controlled substances to public health response. Sending these folks to jail can add to feelings of hopelessness, shame, and worthlessness, which can hinder a person's recovery. Instead, this bill offers a clear pathway to recovery and a way out of the nightmare that many people experiencing a substance use disorder face. It infuses person-centered care and behavioral health resources into every community. And most importantly, it lets people know help is available and there is hope. I am hopeful that this year the legislature can offer people experiencing a substance use disorder a glimmer of hope for a brighter future. As always, please reach out if you have any thoughts, ideas, or questions. Thank you.